So I have the cap back on. I have not tightened the bolts yet, and I have not folded the keepers back over it because I want to run a few cycles here with my fingers. I should not have put the piston in at the moment. I should have reseated the new valves first and then put the piston in. So when I reseat the valves, I'm going to have to pack the piston cylinder with um, paper and shit to keep it clean inside. I should have waited before putting the piston in. I am losing my sunlight, so this will have to continue tomorrow. On these valves, the stems need to be fitted lengthwise to the engine, which means I need to grind off a few thousandths of an inch at this end so that when the push rod is uh, up against the butt there, at its most retracted position, there should be a gap of a few thousandths of an inch between the push rod and the valve stem. At the moment, the valve stem is resting on the piston, the push rod, and which means that the valve won't close all the way. So I'll grind a few thousandths of an inch off of the bottom of the stem, and then I'll use a lapping compound to seat the valve onto the engine, and then I'll test for the length again, because the lapping compound will sink the valve a couple thousandths of an inch. So I'll probably have to ground, grind at the bottom, put the lapping compound on and seat the valve, and then it'll be likely that I'll have to grind the bottom again another couple thousandths of an inch. Do it in those three steps, because I don't want to make the darn thing too short. gap between that one now, and there's no gap there, so I need to take a few more thousandths of an inch off of the intake valve stem, because it's not seating quite properly at the top there. I've put lapping compound on the bottom of the valve here, and I'm going to put it in the engine block here. Now I'm going to take the old valve I'm going to put duct tape here, and then I'm going to chuck it into a drill motor, and hopefully I can spin the new valve, and that lapping compound should reseat, or should reseat the new valve onto the valve seat here. Hopefully the duct tape will be strong enough to hold it together. The valves are back in with the valve springs and the keepers. It is time to assemble it again. Time to see if it works. Clutch. Can't do this with one hand.